happy morning my dear students today i would like to explain you about emotional intelligence or eq why because emotional intelligence or eq is essential to build up your career and to achieve your personal goals that's why i would like to share my opinions regarding emotional intelligence or eq what do you mean by that emotional intelligence or eq it is the ability to understand and use and manage your emotions in a positive way to relieve the stress what is emotional intelligence so that is emotional intelligence so it is the ability to understand your emotions use and manage them in a positive way to relieve your stress not only not only that uh, communicate effectively empathize with others and overcoming challenges and diffuse conflict so that is emotional intelligence my dear young children so it is the ability to understand your emotions and also use it in a positive way to relieve stress not only that you can also understand the emotions of others so that you can communicate accordingly after knowing the emotions of other persons you are in a better position to know how to communicate with them and so how to improve the your iq level uh, iq uq levels so your iq levels the 10 ways to improve your emotional coefficient utilize an assertive style of communicating so don't be too aggressive when you are communicating when you are explaining when you are saying something your emotion should be under check your emotion should be under control when you are when you are communicating an idea don't be too emotional don't be too aggressive or uh, in a in in inner to inner to way also that means don't be too emotional uh, don't be so aggressive in a simil and in a like that Uh, don't be in an active state be active keep your emotions under control and communicate in a positive way in an assertive way not exhibiting aggressiveness or your inertness so that is utilize an assertive style of communicating so the next one is the next one is the second one respond instead of respond instead of uh, respond instead of reacting to conflict my dear young children uh, during the instance of conflict an uh, emotional outburst and feelings of anger are quite common so but uh, what happen emotionally intelligent person knows how to stay calm during stressful situation they don't make an impulsive decision basing on emotions that can lead even a bigger problem so they understand that in times of conflict the goal is resolution when there is a conflict between uh, another person and you if you are emotional if you are aggressive uh, if you are uh, if you are exhibiting your anger there is no use the purpose is how to resolve that conflict the goal is how to resolve that conflict so that should be kept in the mind when you are dealing during the time of conflict so that is respond instead of reacting to conflict utilize active listening skills and you know listening is very important so uh, we have a proverb that is speech is silver silence is gold i can add another sentence listening is platinum you know very well platinum is more valuable than gold and silver so that is listening is more valuable trait you should have
than giving speech or sitting idly or silent. So, and uh, so remember, and so utilize active listening skill, right? Because listening, listening skill, what happen, improves you, uh, your uh, another trait, patience, which is essential for any, um, for any, let, for any, anything. Patience is required in, in any career, in any career uh, aspects. Uh, not only that, if you want to become a leader, you need patience. So then what happens? Um, uh, play attention to also verbal and non-verbal communication and uh, active listener uh, respond properly and shows respect for other person when they are speaking. Uh, so develop, so uh, active listening skill. Be motivated, self-motivated. So when you don't get what you want sometimes, motivate yourself. So emotionally intelligent people are self-motivated and, and, and their attitude is also to motivate others. They set goals and resilient in the face of uh, hard conditions, unfavorable situations uh, and challenges. So the next one is practice ways to maintain positive attitude. Abhavam tadbhavam. Your life is what your thoughts make it. So always be positive. Always think whatever you want to achieve in the life, you can achieve it. So a man is what his mind is. So that's why your mind should be always in a positive way. Why? Because mind is full of thoughts. A man is what his mind is. A mind is what he thinks. That's why in our Upanishads it was said, Yadbhavam Tadbhavati. Your life is what your thoughts make it. So always develop a positive attitude and maintain that positive attitude in order to keep your emotions under control. So practice of self-awareness. So that is self-awareness. So self-awareness self-regulation, social relationship, empathy with others. These four are the important uh, trait, important things uh, to acquire or uh, to develop uh, emotional cohesion, emotional intelligent cohesion, that is emotional uh, cohesion, or to improve the UQ levels because emotions are based on four concepts. Those are self-awareness and self-regulation then empathy and your, your attitude, your way of behavior with others that comes under empathy and your social relationships and how do you react or respond with other people in the community. These four aspects come under emotional uh, intelligence. So the point here, so that's why you should uh, practice self-awareness, take critic well you should always uh, welcome constructive criticism. So other people will come to know where we are making mistakes. If they can, uh, they can make a criticism with a good intention and in order to set right our mistake and in order to educate us and in order to make us to learn, always take that criticism in a positive way. And learn uh, from the criticism and, uh, and uh, uh, an analyze the mistakes uh, you make when other people say. That's why always uh, take constructive criticism in a positive way. Empathize with others. Simply say, when you are dealing with the emotions of other person, when you are in that person position, how do you react? That is empathize with others. So, as a leader, you will have to deal with uh, different kinds of uh, people in different kinds of situation. So, if you were in that situation, how you would act? That you must remember. That you must realize. So, utilize your leadership skills. So, take an initiative and try to propose a resolution for uh, resolving a conflict propose your suggestions and so that is utilizing your leadership skills and be approachable and sociable.
so you know what happens uh, when you when you achieve your goals when you become a top leader in your organization don't feel that you are something great don't feel that you are above all of above all but permit them to approach you and also be sociable man is a social animal so don't uh, don't be too egoistic and uh, uh, so allow others to approach you to tell their problems and also you also should be sociable with others and like this if you can follow these 10 principles or 10 ways you can improve your uq levels once you improve your uq levels you can build up your career in a in a very good manner and also and you will become the leader for your team also you can produce more if you are in an organization and so like that follow these ten principles and be a mo- be the most intelligent person i prefer to call most emotionally intelligent person and get what you want in your life wishing you all success god bless you